Polyon gives the customer the flexibility of having nutrient release at the rate that they, that they want. You know, if they want a, a two month release product all the way up to an 18 month release product, we have a different coating thickness that can address those different needs for the customer. Right, so whatever the agronomic program is, whether you're growing turf in Florida, whether you're growing turf in Maine or California or Oregon, you have a nutrient release profile that's gonna fit whatever that agronomic objective is. In 2019, we purchased Polyon, and since 2019, we have continued to invest in the Harold's Coating Solutions plant. That investment includes complete renovations of manufacturing lines, complete rebuilds of manufacturing lines, which gives us an increase in consistency and predictability of Polyon, but also increases our overall manufacturing capacity of Polyon. The technology is in the polymer coating of the substrate. So when you make Polyon, you start out with a fertilizer substrate. Now a fertilizer substrate could be urea, which is the most common substrate that we coat, but it could also be things like sulfate of potash, murate of potash, homogeneous NPKs or homogeneous NPKs plus micros. And so we take that substrate and then we coat the substrate with a polymer. And the polymer, depending on the thickness of the polymer, dictates how long that material is going to release for. And so the thicker the polymer, the longer the release, the thinner the polymer coating, the shorter the release. When developing Polyon products, it starts with our research and development team. We have a lab full of chemists that really want to understand how the polymer coating interacts with the substrate that they're working to develop. And once we understand how the polymer coating reacts with the substrate or interacts with the substrate, we move that to our pilot plant where we can manufacture 400 to 500 pound batches at a time to understand at scale how the polymer is going to interact with the substrate to make sure that we pr provide a consistent product. And then finally, we move to our full scale manufacturing where we can manufacture anywhere between 6,000 to 8,000 pound batches at a time. The manufacturing process is really what makes Polyon unique, special, and, and consistent in the way that it performs. It all starts with the raw material selection, right? The more consistent the substrate is, the more round, the more spherical, the easier it is to apply a consistent coating to that substrate. So once you have the, the substrate selection, then you take the different, you actually have a two monomer system. You spray monomer, what we call monomer A and monomer B. Those two different monomers are applied together. They actually re react and create the final polymer. And the final polymer is what we know as polyon. That process goes on over and over and over again, depending on how thick of a coating that we want to apply to the substrate. And the thicker the coating, again, the longer the release. We put a lot of focus on manufacturing a polyon and the processes that make a quality product. But after the quality product is manufactured, you still have to go through the quality control process to ensure that it's within specifications. All right, so we have what we call our whole test release process. So after a batch of polyon is manufactured, that batch is then sampled. That sample goes into a testing protocol that we have in place that ensures that every batch we manufacture is within our specifications for that particular product. And until that batch is tested and checked off to be within specification, it's not released for sale. So we have a whole R&D team at our coatings plant that all their focus on is finding ways to continuously improve the quality of the products. So there's a lot of detail that goes into the manufacturing of Polyon. It's not as simple as just, you got monomer A, you got monomer B, you spray it on the substrate and you call it a day. There's a lot of processes that go in place that have to be optimized to make not just a quality product, but also a consistent product. So when you buy a bag of fertilizer from Harold's this year and you buy one next year and the next year after that, they're all gonna perform the same way. And some of those things such as how much of our different raw ingredients are added at a time, the mixing times, the temperatures at which these materials are added, all have an influence on the end quality of the product. And some small little tweak in any one of those process parameters can really affect the quality of the end product. And so we put a lot of time and attention into making sure that those are optimized for every product that we manufacture. A rep has the ability to customize a fertilizer blend and also release characteristics for any agronomic situation because we have a variety of different polyon products that can be short-term re release, long-term release, and everywhere in between. And we know that the factors that influence polyon release is the availability of moisture. You just got to have it. As long as you get moisture there, it's going to facilitate release, coating thickness, and then air temperature. And so if we have a tight level of control over the coating thickness, as we do in our manufacturing facility and through our quality control processes, soil moisture's just gotta be there to facilitate release. The only wild card is temperature. We have a pretty good idea, just based on historical weather data, what the 
average air temperature is going to be for any location in the world on a week by week, month by month basis, plus or minus a few degrees. And so we can put together a pretty simple mathematical model that will predict what release is going to be based on application date, application rate, and which polyon material that is going to be applied. And so through that, through a polygraph system, we can type all that information in, put it into the computer, calculate out and say, this is what specifically describe your week to week nitrogen release is going to be for any given location, any given application date, application rate, and polyon product throughout the entire world. And then we can also add sparge ingredients to that. And by sparge ingredients, I mean sparge pesticides such as pre-emergent herbicides or maybe an insecticide. So that when you talk about more about the efficiency of the applications, now we're applying the nutritional component, but we're also applying the pesticidal component, whatever that may be. As, as you tour around the polyon plant, you meet individuals who are manufacturing polyon, who are working in the quality control plant, who are working in our blend plant. You know, many of them have a tenure of 10 plus years, some of them up to 38 years. And so not only do you have the quality control, you have the processes put in place to make a quality product, you also have the same individuals that have been manufacturing the product for over 30 years in some cases. Everyone involved with the whole sales process, the whole manufacturing process, all the way to the delivery to the end user, has a vested interest in the quality and also the performance of, of Polyon. Right, so every employee within Harold's is an employee owner. We're a 100% employee owned company. So we have an intrinsic ownership of wanting to make sure that we have a quality product in the market.